Are we gonna get a, get a kiss on camera? Too? No. Just a little peck. Hey, hey. It's the wedding movie. <sighs> There are two aspects of physical and spiritual here. Marriage is not only spiritual, it is also physical. Your boy Armin Kalunga, Andre Lunga, it's Big DM from the 404. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Ben. You set the standard like so high for other people. There's this journey that you've been like just taking us on, nobody else has done this. So so happy for you and so honoured to have been part of this beautiful journey down the aisle. I'm wishing you the best day, we're going to have so much fun, a blessed marriage and I can't wait to see the beautiful life that you're going to create for yourselves out in Atlanta. I love you so much, both of you and I'm excited, I can't wait. Have the best day guys. Another one. So boom, I find her on Instagram. I saw she was beautiful, but the Lord was telling me it's not always all about looks. So initially, I would have pursued her right off from seeing her page. You know, I wanted the Lord to say something to me, and eventually He did. About after a month, and then I shot her a message. And um, these are more details than that, that I knew about. But okay. Continue. Well, I mean, you know, continue. It, you know, the relationship with Jesus Christ is personal. Uh huh. Right? Oh, oh, we met on Instagram. I don't remember how he found my page. I just remember him following me. He um, dropped me a DM saying, Happy birthday to my mom. Something of that sort. And then it went to the DMs. We were just talking. I would say we were friends. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the year later. <laughs> 2019, when we actually started um, dating, if it's too much of a strong word for the Christians, just like courting, I was still in the UK and he was all the way here. So I was there like, eh, whatever. Yeah, so we started dating um, in 2019, early 2019. However, I would say that when he came into my DMs, I just remember looking at his profile and I had actually messaged my friend at the time and I told her, I was like, listen, he's just, he's that good looking to me that, you know, I'd marry this guy. It was just like, you know, just a comment that was just there I didn't think anything of it, but with regards to like like knowing that we were in love, I feel like it took me it took me time. There was no way that I was gonna say I was in love first, but he did. When you're in love, say it. Don't wait. Don't don't play the game. A month after we were serious, I knew. The power of social media. We make fun of the fact that, you know, like people curve each other on social media, but you actually never know. Yeah, respond to those DMs. You just never know what's gonna happen. We knew 
this was it. So we organized a meetup in France for a weekend and it was beautiful. I was a bit nervous, <laughs> but <laughs> um, after our dates and everything else, I had a really good time. It was a great series of dates too, to be honest with you. And with that, it kind of set us up. Every single time we'd go on dates, we'd always end up on a boat. When I first saw her physically, went to the store before she arrived. I bought some flowers and some perfume. My palms were sweating. I was just in the mirror for like, I just mean, looking at myself like, bro, the thing that's, this is it, The man. thing that's so crazy <laughs> with him saying this is that he's saying that that did not translate to any of us. We were just all here like this guy, like, Miss Makati, like he was literally there, like smiling, wide-eyed, as talkative I mean, as he is. what can I say? You know <laughs> what I'm saying? What can I say? So... When I knocked on the door uh -huh. and she opened it up, it was like... It was like heaven. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny because I look crazy on that day. Um, you do not look crazy. So, this person never looks crazy. Um, you do not look crazy. I looked crazy. Um, <laughs> my skin was acting up. Um, my hair looked mental. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just what that was. Oh, but anyway. Anyway. The mariage coutumier. Disclaimer, when we say coutumier, the traditional wedding. Okay. Day of the coutumier came, it's the 9th of October, 2021, so same year. It was exciting. I wasn't nervous. I was hoping that everything went to plan. We had a little bit of tardiness. My uncle flew in to London. Literally the morning we were supposed to go to her, literally bring all our stuff and pay Doug. He didn't know that she lived two hours away from the airport. So like he gets there, his phone's not working. My aunt's calling me like, oh, has your uncle got there yet? I'm like, I don't know. He's not answering his phone. I remember even when my mum met him, my mum was like, my mum loved him immediately. It was just funny to her that the person with zero shame was the person who's dating her daughter who has all the shame in the world. That was a super, super, super big thing, aside from the physical, babe. Mm -hmm. That was attractive. I wouldn't have thought in the beginning that it was attractive, but it really stood out to me. I didn't have to teach her how to read her Bible. She already knew. I don't know, it sounds so basic, but hey, I, I don't know the type of people that he was seeing or the type of people. She act like she act like she didn't date some busters as well. Like she act like she don't own she no, no, like she no. has a queen. I'm hit, like I don't understand. To me. Some busters. I, I, that's why that's why I'm standing right I, here. I, I listen. That's why I'm right here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 
And all for all my guys out there, don't just be chasing booty. Oh. You know, look for someone who fears the Lord. Excuse me. I'm just saying. Excuse you gotta tell the people. Excuse the Lord. She's not gonna say it. Now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We don't here. have to keep that. What? We don't have to keep that. Part. The booty? Yeah, we don't no, have we to. should. <laughs> it's the wedding video. No, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Show the ring, show the ring. You guys have seen the ring. You see it? You've seen the ring. You see it? I had this for so eight months before even using it. Wait, no. I had it way longer than that. I had this. He said 2009. Yeah, I bought this the year we met in France. Shout out, Mama Nico. And this is all she gets to tell me for the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Ozamuti are expensive, which means that you're an expensive person. Like, just like, so, Ozamuti are expensive. We need to buy the most expensive, the nicest, the most bougie <laughs> fabrics. <laughs> ever. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. So we were looking, I found yeah. one that was blue, that was super nice, and I sent it to Jim. He didn't really care. He said, you know what, you choose it. I'll just wear it. I was like, okay, cool. Found a design. I was like, yeah. So she's like, what about the other one? I was like, what other one? Yeah, we didn't even want to do outfit change, but that was like, you need to do <laughs> She was like, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> she was there like, see, you're so lucky I'm here because I don't know what you would have done. Like, yeah. I don't know what would have happened on that day. I can't believe this. Then she got onto my mom. She was there like, you as well, I can't believe this. We're going to give the girl away and she's going to go out looking basic. Absolutely <laughs> not. So we ended up getting the blue and the yellow and pink. Yellow and pink, which she actually chose. It was just the yellow and pink colorway was the one that I wanted, but she actually chose it because she said it's bright and you're bright and you feel frappy. So like you need to, you need to be so bright and like hit people's eyes. I was stressed to say the least. Running around and everything. Everyone was just so excited to be there as a group. 
oh my goodness i got on a phone call from the hotel to be like they're saying it's gonna rain tomorrow you still want this outdoor ceremony i was like uh it was an 80 percent chance yeah, of rain so i remember i was just there i was like god come on man there was the heat wave that was in london it was 38 degrees a day before I was like, this day is the day that you want to rain. I was like, heck nah. I went into my room and I closed the heavens. And it didn't rain, <laughs> which was great. We paid for outdoor ceremony and had it rained, they still would have kept our money. So the week of the wedding, that was when my whole family was landing. And so people were landing day after day after day. And we had a party in our Airbnb. Oh, God. It was it amazing. Yeah, it got shut down. <laughs> we were so loud. We took the party from our Airbnb to my cousin's Airbnb. And we just, my city really came and had a blast in London. We stayed by a place in Romford called Atlanta Boulevard. A lot of my family were rolling in that week, so they were calling me, trying to see what the program was, how I was feeling. Hey, Flon, that's your brother. <laughs> Looking back at everything, I was super grateful to the people that did travel out for him. I think we all were because a lot of his family couldn't make it to the dowry. It's really nice to know like how much people hold you to a high regard because it was an expensive trip, it was in high time, yet people traveled and there were lots and lots of people from Atlanta that came out. Which yeah, was, it was a whole movie. It was. So, it was there so were crazy. so many people that. That was like that. That was the that was the best trip I had ever been on because it felt like I was still in Atlanta. Yeah. Like, so many family and friends came out. It honestly was amazing, and it was amazing for us to see. Yeah. It really marked my family too. You were amazing for me to see. Of course, obviously. I mean, what does he mean? Hello. I have to turn the cameras off. Oh, all the time. we're cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we not. <laughs> Why? See why every time I make a joke, we gotta cut it out. So the day finally came, the day of the white wedding. You guys are honestly perfect for each other and I've never been so happy to see a couple get married on this day. I'm so grateful to be a part of your marriage and I just want to thank you for considering me. I hope you have an amazing day and it will be worth all the stress so don't even worry. Love you so much. I just want to wish you guys the best marriage ever. I'm so happy to have met him. I've known Julia for about all my life now but you guys are well suited and I'm so happy for you and I can't wait to see how you guys grow as a couple, how you guys build as a couple.
woke up in the morning um <laughs> my makeup artist cancelled on me in the morning it was so crazy but we figured out the makeup situation but my brother was there and my cousin was there so i was pretty calm with knowing that they were gonna take care of whatever they need to take care of i remember hearing like the music and people outside and where my room was i could see everyone Let me feed them, yeah. So I was getting excited. I didn't have the nerves. I was just happy to be there. So when it got time for me to walk down the aisle, I was with um, our ring bearers and our flower girl. Children just being kids kind of made me forget about everything because they gave me a laugh. Like Nathaniel was bouncing off the walls. He was taking the box and he was throwing it like. <laughs> Way. They were just so cute. So when they went out before us, I was hearing everyone like, oh, oh, oh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I walked down and I was smiling. It was a happy day. Yeah, no, nah, I was emotional, man. It was, it was hard. It wasn't hard, but it was just when you think about how. God puts two people together. I'd always wanted to be married. So me standing at the at the altar, as soon as she comes out, everyone's screaming. Everyone's just, Ew. everyone's making all this noise and I'm there. We worked hard to get to this point. Meeting each other and getting engaged. You know, the distance that we had so much apart. And I was ready to say my vows and I was ready to honor you in front of everybody, so. La femme attend de toi. The woman expects of you. Elle se tend, elle se sent aimée. She wants to feel loved. Elle se sent chérie. She wants to feel cherished. Parce que la parole déclare. Because the, the word declares. L'homme aime ta femme. Because the word declares that man love your woman. C'est qu'elle attend de toi. What she expects of you. C'est l'amour. It is love. And, and this love has many faces. Man, her pastor had everybody dying laughing. He came in with these, so I thought he was going to take the sunglasses off, right? He had these sunglasses, like, what if, what they Versace? What they Versace? Or Gucci. <laughs> One of these brand names. He'll be saying stuff like, you guys don't know what I'm about to say at Julia's wedding. And I'd always be like, what's this guy on? Listen, people loved that sermon so much because he preaches in French. With an in we had an interpret on the day Amelia. And to think that his message still translated, right? My English speaking friends, non-Congolese friends, understood everything. In a marriage, when we speak of a party, it is the it is the, the party happens in the bedroom. When you have a happy party there, in the morning, in the morning cuisine, and a, a good cooking, they will cook, and then she will sing for you. While she's singing, you will say that she's filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the happy, 
the party was gay. La fête pas bonne. When the party is not good. Le matin, elle est colorée. Tout le monde va voir sa colère. And then they're angry. Everyone will see her anger. Applaudissons les rois des rois. May we say, may we proclaim for God. Ma prière ce soir. My prayer today. Et dans ce couple. In this couple. Que le vin ne manque pas. May the, may the wine never miss Au out. Au nom de Jésus. In Jesus' name. Que le vin se défile votre amour. May, the, may, may it be filled with your love. Aujourd'hui, vous êtes dans la joie. You are happy today. Mais je prie que ce vin ne manque pas. May, may, may that wine not miss out. Que le vin continue à couler. May the wine continue to dans flow. The journey to the wedding was not easy at all. The devil fights marriages. Our godmother was telling me, she was like, Judah, first of all, this makeup is very expensive, so don't mess up the makeup. And we don't know whether the mascara is waterproof or not, so you can't cry. And there's cameras in your face for the whole day. Do you want black stuff running down your face? <laughs> <laughs> We had fought so hard to get there. I never was one to believe in marriage. I didn't believe that people were allowed to be happy. And I didn't believe that I deserved to be happy. But after meeting you, and you coming into my life, you've changed my perspective. You've shown me that God had ordained for me to be happy through you. Amen. You showed me that God is always faithful. You showed me the goodness of God. You showed me how a Christian relationship should be. Amen. I promise to be the best wife that I can possibly be. I promise to honor you. I promise to respect you. I promise to cook for you. <laughs> yes. I promise to take care of our kids and be the best mother in the world. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and now I have come today from a land far, far away <laughs> to make you my queen, my wife. Thank you for accepting to come with me. Thank you for accepting. <laughs> Thank you for accepting to come with me to my land far, far away, where I've been in love with you, with the love that has grown stronger and stronger, despite the obstacles in front of us. I'm so happy that I can look up and see you standing here for me. No more sleeping on the phone after a long day. <laughs> now we can go to bed and wake up next to each other. We can walk together, we can dance together, and we can be physically bound together as how God intended it should be. I promise to honor you. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to cherish you forever. I promise to look for you when you don't want to be found. I promise to love all of you. And thank you for saying yes to me because I'll always say yes to you. Amen.
The party was crazy. It was epic. It was amazing. He killed it. He flew all the way from Congo. And he landed the day before, the day before yeah. for the wedding and left the following day. Are you ready? Make a noise for the girls now. The festival is a better city.
We had a great DJ yeah. as well who we understood. Really yeah. He understood. He understood the mix. Christians who are bitten. We've got Americans, of course, with Jim's music as well. My whole Atlanta side, we were so lit. Everyone just had a blast. I, I mean, hold on a second. We had energy, okay? Yeah. They came into the energy that we provided first. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But. <laughs> But honestly, it was it was amazing. The people that we had contributed to everything that the day ended up being. And even the little things that, that didn't go into plan that we were noticing, we were looking around and everyone's there smiling. I'm here telling Arnold like, oh Arnold, but this isn't, and then everyone's just telling us like, chill out, chill out. Cause you know, on wedding day jitters, you can get carried away by every single detail, detail because yeah. it's such a special day. But don't do that, you know, like just just enjoy the day. Just forget about what's not going right. That is your day. Yeah. Take it and yeah. run with it. The people who are actually there for you guys, they yeah. don't even care. They're there to support everything. Majority of the people that we had really worked for the day to go to plan and for the day to be memorable. I would not do this again. <laughs> with anyone else. Okay. <laughs> this journey was was difficult at first, but it's always good to have to have a difficult journey with such a supportive husband and partner. God did what he said he was going to do. I'm grateful for the prayers that we received. I'm grateful for God's hand on things because from the beginning till the end of everything, like, I, I see God's hand on it.